I'm back with another thrift haul. Did you really expect anything else? <laughs> All right. Got this awesome solar tea jar. It was three fifty. If you live in the south, you know all about sun tea. Um, this was a little gimmicky thing that they sold because you can just use a jar <laughs> and put your tea in it. Fun fact, I've never made sun tea. Um, people swear by it though. Got this turkey centerpiece. Honeycomb. It was 50 cents. Bookends. This is what one half looks like. These were a dollar fifty for each of them. I hate when places sell things like bookends and salt and pepper shakers in, you know, individually. This is the other side. I guess it's Noah's Ark. Oh no! I didn't notice there was a chunk out of the elephant's head. I'll have to disclose that. Okay. Or well, I might just be selling one book in. What you can do. These were so cute. They were 50 cents. Little snowman. That one sets up like that. I don't know if I'll sell these or if I'll keep these because I'm going to more decor that's just winter decor. I thought this mug was cute. It's got frogs playing instruments. I'm rewrapping this stuff because mostly, more than likely, it's going to go downstairs into my inventory death pile until I have other stuff listed. Oh, there's two of them. I bought this stuff so long ago, I forgot. So, if you do see anything you want, you can go check the links down below. But if you don't see it listed, you can contact me by email. Got a pack of cards. And these are brand new. These are Pennsylvania. They're 50 cents. This is brand new, and I can't remember if it's worth anything. Because we forgot to check. Well, see, at this Goodwill... Internet doesn't work. Can't get reception at all. So, I may to go outside and check it and then come back in. But it's, what is this? Magic Tree House. Christmas in Camelot. Haunted, has <laughs> Haunted Castle on Hallow's Eve. Summer of the Sea Serpent. Winter of the Ice Wizard. Mary Pope Osborne. Read by the author. Brand new, unabridged, books 29 through 32. Let's see if it's worth anything. It was $3.50. Condition new. Go to sold. Looking this up on eBay. No exact matches. There's one that has started on auction. New for $2.99. And 
There's one listed with free shipping for $25.95. The one without bids has a day and six hours left. So, this may be something I list and it sets for a long time, but I do think it'll sell for more than $3.50. But, if I had it to do it over again, I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> Just being honest, you know, because I keep it real. Here's a piece of photography that's signed by the artist, Paul, I can't read the last name, but it was two fifty, dollars and I was like, if this doesn't sell, I love it, because I love Paul, and, yeah. So we'll see if it sells. It's a beautiful piece, though, and there's the, yeah, wait, oh, there's the signature. Okay, I'm getting buried. <laughs> getting a little claustrophobic here. This one sounds very rattly. Oh, oh that's still a okay. little ginger jar. Um, oh, nope. There's a hairline crack. So I'll have to disclose that, but a little ginger jar. Thought it was cute. It was a dollar fifty. I do wish the lid didn't have that hairline crack, but if I'm not careful, it's gonna have more than a hairline crack. Again, I don't know if I'll keep it or sell it. And I think this is another one. Oh, this one's kind of sitting back on its round, big old round booty. <laughs> that woo! So, yeah. Got one of these. This is the big screen solitaire. This one is open and it is, does have some wear. I think we tried it and it worked, but I'll have to redo or change the batteries. But I bought one of these brand new in the package for like three dollars and it sold to Australia for a hundred. So, change the batteries out in this and hopefully sell this one for 30 yeah. Picked up these anthropology coasters. Let's say La Pina. Um, I guess they're all the same. These are ceramic. Yep, they're all the same. And they cost six dollars a piece new. Oh, that one does a paint chippy. But what did I say I paid for these? Three fifty. So I don't think that was too bad. This box just keeps going. That's a little paperweight, definitely vintage. It was a dollar fifty. Cute little piece of cross stitch that somebody 
turned into a paperweight. This was another very vintage piece. And it's signed, it's a little, little teeny tiny piece of artwork, it's flowers. Um, just the back, it's 50 cents. I'll have to do a little bit of research on this. But can't go wrong for 50 cents. Oh, I forgot I had these. Also 50 cents a piece. Well, these were 50 cents a piece. These are by... Can't read that. Oh, it's the MCMLXXXV. Whatever that is. But there are two hummingbirds. Don't remember why I bought this basket. It was a dollar. It is made of, I'm guessing, grapevine. It's a basket. Uh, you know, I have a basket problem. Uh, my name's Amy. I have a basket problem. I've got this lamp. And we were able to test it there and it does work. It's a dollar fifty. Looks like a lantern. Probably listed on Poshmark. But let me get this stuff put back in the basket. Or basket back in the box. by Grassland Road, Grasslands Road, it's Hope, that's really pretty, I may keep this to put out during the winter, it's a good wash, magnets they're definitely I'd say they're 90s 80s late 80s early 90s they were but there's like different shapes in there there's a moon a barns a pig a little person oh and I picked up a Little poly pocket. It does not have any people in it, but I think it was probably a quarter. Oh. Got a little bag of toys. Why did I get this one? I don't know why I got this one, but. It was probably 50 cents. Um, a couple Snoopy toys and Woody. It's a little frog from San Rio. A little panda. Um, the 1982 World's Fair in Knoxville, Tennessee. This was 50 cents. <clears throat> I thought this was so cute. Sorry about that. 
so cute. I just love little pieces of folk art and it does really well too. This is a little squirrel made of, I'm guessing those are walnuts. Yeah, walnut shells and some pop cleaner. I think it was probably a quarter if that. I guess I love the colors on this. It's got a hair stuck to it. Um, Hawaii. And it was, ooh, it's got a little chippy chip. Uh, I think it'll be okay. Um, it's 50 cents, like I said. And just back in the day, that was the thing. You know, you go somewhere and you brought back a plate. Not really the most useful souvenir, but. Sorry about all the noise. The fisherman, he fishes in the morning, he fishes in the night, he fishes in the he fishes in foul weather and when the sea when the sun is bright, it's a little like faded. He fishes, 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 it's his only thing in life. And all he ever catches <laughs> is hail from his fed up wife. <laughs> I love these little things. They're all so cute. That's adorable though. Alright. Toy bags. This one was $3.50. You know we'll have some fun with these. Um, and we got this one. Also, well no, this one was $4.50. I have so many toy bags I need to open up. And if you've never sold toys, oh my god, it can be so much fun. You just one toy out of there will pay for the whole bag. This was a dollar. I guess I bought it just because I thought it was cute. I'm sure it's not worth more than a dollar. <laughs> oh, I got some cassettes. This one is 30 Years of Country Gold. This one is Roy Orbison, the legend. And this one is Roy Orbis or the Roy Orbison Tribute Collector's Edition from RC Cola. Ooh, that might be worth some. <laughs> Oh, I got a couple more. Also got Barbara Strassan, a Christmas album. And Christmas with Bean Crosby, Nat King Cole, and Dean Martin. Oh, that would probably be awesome. Got this wonderful, wonderful set. I got the saucers and the mugs. I'll just show you one of each. called like Moon Glow or it's by Federal but love it if you love the iridescent yeah you're gonna love it I'm gonna make sure I can get this downstairs without it getting busted all the pieces of course what I should do is just wash it and list it I wouldn't have to worry about getting it downstairs. Well, I'd still have to take it downstairs. Here's a little Temptations creamer. It was 50 cents. I do wonder if it was supposed to have a lid, but it was 50 cents and it was Temptations. So. These two little peeps. I 
I thought they were really cute. They're not really worth anything. But I didn't really pay anything. So it was all good. Oh yeah, and I got this ashtray. It's 50 cents. I forgot all about this. And yes, ashtrays do still sell. You can market them as paintbrush holders. One more bag. I know this, this is probably a long one. Or one more box. First of all, I got this bag of toys for $2. We won't look in that right now. But we got it. Um, I think this was a $1.49 Ford Mustang manual. Not the most exciting thing, but they sell. Got a little shelf to go downstairs. This one is very pokey. It's two ninety nine. I think this might have been. I think this might have been half off. But I'll put that down in the room so when we get down there, we are videoing. Videoing. We'll have stuff displayed on shelves that were selling. This was adorable. I, uh, uh, I may keep this. This is so cute. Anyway, it was only 99. May have been half off. Bought this pig plate for $1.99. It's from Brandon House. Marty Kimball. Very primitive looking. I think I might have bought more than one. I don't know. Oh, I forgot I found these. I really like these too. Um, they were 49 cents. And the graphic on that, absolutely amazing. And I know it would have had a picture. And I think the full set, actually. I've seen sets that, like, there's one orange, there's one grape, apple. I don't remember what the other one was. Oh, yeah. These were $1.99 a piece. Pretty sure these are Linux. Salt and pepper shakers. I'll have to go through this stuff downstairs and get it all sorted in the trying to keep all my Christmas stuff separate. So that in August I can start listing Christmas stuff. And yes, you do start listing really early. Well, I'll probably start listing Christmas stuff in September, and Halloween stuff will be in July or August. Got this shelf thing for two ninety nine. Probably paint that. <sighs> William Brinkley, the last ship. I think Tony grabbed this. What about a dollar? Oh. Beautiful piece of Mexican pottery. It's two ninety nine. That's gorgeous. And I fully admit, when I first saw stuff like this, I was like, ooh, that's ugly. And then you start selling it, and you're like, yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Another orange glass.
another one. So I think I got a set of four. I'm not normally into bales, but this is Texas and it's a blue bale. <laughs> but it was pretty. And it was $1.99. There's just something that called to me about it. Got this vintage trivet handcrafted in the USA by Unique Designs made with beach sand. That was pretty. And this should be the last little little bit and all it is is nothing exciting let's do those little um pencil sharpeners this one looks like a i think a coffee grinder old school a little drawer comes out and this one's a little that's it wow that was a long one I think I'm gonna take a break Just curious as to what's in these toys ooh supposed to be in a Christmas ornament because he has this hook in the back of his head. I'm so tempted. <laughs> I, just, I love toy bags. I, did, I bet this was an ornament. Or a keychain. I don't know. Ornament or a keychain. I'm thinking ornament. That'll actually be a good sale. Or, you know, decent. It'll be more than $2. I know that. And that's what the whole bag costs. Alright, that's it. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm looking at all the junk back there. Um, oh, yeah. Hit that bell. And <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.